Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to design this pre-sale page using Elementor with easy to follow steps. And with that said, let's jump straight into our dashboard to get started. Okay, so coming down to our WordPress dashboard, the first thing we want to do is to install our website page builder. And in this case, it's going to be Elementor. Now for us to be able to install Elementor on our website, we simply need to hover over plugins to select add new. And once this page comes up, all you need to do is to come down to search plugins and type in Elementor. Now, if you don't have this installed on your website already, you would be seeing install now right here. So simply need to click on that and then activate the plugin. Since I already have this installed on my website, there is no need for that. So once we have Elementor installed on our website, we want to move on to creating our pre-sell page. Now to do this, we simply need to hover over pages to select add new. So I'm just going to open this up in a new tab. And once this comes up, we can title this page whatever I want to. For the sake of this video, we're just going to title this pre-sell. And we want to click on Edit with Elementor. Now, once our Elementor Design Canvas comes up, we want to get rid of the header and footer just so we have a blank canvas to work with. So to do this, we simply need to come down to Settings and want to select that. And for our page layout, we want to select default and we want to change this to Elemental Canvas. So I'm just going to select Elemental Canvas and click on Publish. Next, we want to refresh this just so we get rid of the header and footer. So the next thing we want to do is to add in a section just so we can be able to create our pre-sale page. So I'm just going to click on this icon which says Add New Section. And for our structure type, we want to select the three columns. So I'm just going to click on that. Now in here, we can see how this appears as, but we want to make this full width. So we want to come down to our content width and want to change this to full width. Now moving on to styling our section, we want to change the background color in here to something a little bit eye catching. So coming down to style and for our background type, we want to select classic. Now in here for our color, we want to select this box. And for our color hex code, we want to change this to hashtag 420013. Okay, so this is how it's going to be appearing as. So we want to make edits to the left and right column. So I'm just going to click on this. And in here for our column width, we want to make this 26%. And also for our right column, we want to select that. And in here for our column width, we want to make this 26% as well. Now the middle column is where we have to put in all our elements. So the next thing we want to do is to change the background color just to make it a little bit distinctive from what we have on the right and left column. So I'm just going to select this. I want to come down to style and for our background type, we want to select classic and for our color, we want to select this box and in here, we want to put in hashtag 100100. Okay. So that's looking a whole lot better. So coming down to our widgets, I'm just going to drag and drop our test editor into this middle column because this is what we're going to use to make our compelling headline. So I'm just going to come down to our text editor in here. I'm just going to highlight all this and then clear it all out. Now in here, I want to put in, you are about to discover how using this Brazil layout can generate you thousands of leads. So once we are done inserting our text, we want to move on to styling this text in here. So for us to do that, we simply need to come down to style and for alignment, we want to change this to center align and for our text color, we want to make this white. Now for our typography, we want to select this pencil icon and for our font family, we want to make this Roboto and for our size, we want to make this 22 pixels and for our font weight, let's change this to 700. Now, once we're done with this, we want to lay more emphasis on generate you thousands of leads with colors. So for us to do that, we simply need to come down to content. Now, if you're not having all these options available to you, you can simply click on this toggle bar toggle. Now, once we select that, we can see we don't have our options as it was. So I'm just going to click on this. So I'm just going to highlight all of this and we want to come down to this text color and select this icon in here. And in here, I'm just going to select this lime green color. Now let's say for example, we want to lay more emphasis using underline. We can simply highlight all this and we can simply come down to this option in here, which says underline and then click on it. And we can see how this appears as. So that's it for styling this text in here. So let's move on to styling our column. So I'm just going to click on this and we want to come down to style. We want to select border and for our border type, we want to change this to double. 
Now for our border type width, we want to change this to four all round. So for our color, we want to click on this and in here we want to put in hashtag 00FF00. Okay, so that's looking a whole lot better. So moving on with styling our column, we can simply come down to advanced and in here we want to unlink all values for our padding. So top 50, for our right, let's make this 60 and for our bottom, make this 20 and for our left, let's make this 60. And that's how it's going to be looking like. So once you're done with that, you can simply click on update. So moving on with adding our video into this column. As we can see in here, we have a video. So I'm just going to come back to our design canvas and in here, I want to duplicate this section. So I'm just going to click on this and in here, I want to get rid of this text editor. So I'm just going to right click on this and select delete and I want to change our background to white. So I'm just going to click on this column. I want to come down to style and for our color in here, I want to change this to white. Just before we start adding our widget in here, we want to get rid of this border right here and want to select this column and want to come down to border and for our border type, we want to change this to none. So coming back to our widgets, I'm just going to drag and drop our video into this column. For the sake of this video, we're just going to use a YouTube video. So I'm just going to come back here and I'm going to right click on this. I want to copy video URL and want to head back to our design canvas. And for our link, I'm just going to highlight all this and I want to paste this into this section. And we can see we have our video appearing here. So the next thing we want to do, as we can see, we have spaces at the top left and our right columns. So I'm just going to click on this and want to come down to advanced. I want to link all values together and want to reduce this to 10 pixels all around. And we can see how this appears as. So I'm just going to click on update. I want to come down to our widget and want to add in an inner section just as we do in here with our buttons. So I'm just going to come back to our, our design canvas and want to drag and drop our inner section into this column. And in here is where we'll have to put in our buttons. So coming down to our widget, I'm just going to drag and drop our button into this column. And in here, we can make customizations based on your personal preference. So whatever text you want to appear here, you can simply put it in here. So for the sake of this video, we're just going to put in get started. Also, you want to put in the links to your sales page into this column since this is a pre-sale page. But for the sake of this video, we're just going to leave this as a hashtag. Now for our alignment, we want to center align this and for our size, we want to make this large. Now in here, we can put in icons that appears either to the left or to the right. So let's select this icon library and in here we can simply search for arrow. So I'm just going to select this long arrow and click on insert and we can see we have our icon displaying there. So in here for our icon position, we want to change this to after and for our icon spacing, we want to make this 10. So coming down to styling our button in here, we simply need to come down to style and for our typography, we want to select this pencil icon and in here, we want to change our font family to Roboto and for our font size, let's make this 18 pixels and for our font width, we want to change this to 600 and that's all we need to do for our typography. So I'm just going to come out of that and for our text color, definitely you can make customizations to how you want it to appear as, but for the sake of this video, we're just going to leave it at white. Now coming down to our background color in here, we want to put in hashtag 028236. So for our border type, we want to select none and we want to change this to double. And for our width, we want to make this six all round. Okay, so this is how it's going to be appearing as, but we want to increase the width in here to something more expanded. So coming down to our padding, we want to unlink all values in here. And for our top, we want to make this 20 pixels. For our right, we want to make this 95 pixels. For our bottom, we want to make this 20 pixels. And for our right, we want to make this 95 pixels. Okay, so that's how it's going to be appearing as. So let's duplicate this and want to drag this button into this column. Definitely you want to make customizations to this, but for the sake of this video, we're just going to leave almost everything the same way as it is. And we can simply play around with the icon. So if we select this, we can simply click on this icon and click on insert. 
And for our icon position, we can make this before and we're just going to leave the rest the same. And for our color, let's come down to styling our background color for this button in here. I'm just going to select this background color. I want to make this hashtag FF8B01. Now the next thing we want to do is reemphasizing our visitors clicking on these buttons right here. So for us to do this, we can simply copy this. So I'm just going to right click on that and click on copy. And in here, I can simply paste this section. So in here, we want to add in a text reemphasizing our visitors clicking on this button. Say for example, we can simply add in, click on the link above to discover how using this Brazil page can help you generate thousands of leads. So moving on, we want to duplicate this just so we can add in our footer so i'm just going to delete this just as we did for this column i want to click on this column come down to style and for our background color we want to change this to black and we want to come down to our border and remove our border from this plane here so i'm just going to click on this and then select none now coming down to our widget we want to add in our heading into this column so coming back here, we can see we have copyright, our website name, all rights reserved. So I'm just going to copy this just so we save time. And I'm going to paste this into this title box. So I want to add in a little bit of code in here, just in between our copyright website name and all rights reserved. And we can see there is a break in between. Now, the next thing we want to do is to change our alignment to center. I want to come down to style. And for our text color, we want to change this to white. And for our typography, we want to select this pencil icon. And for our font family, we want to change this to comic new. And for our font size, we want to make this 18 pixels. And for our font width, we want to make this 600. Moving on, we want to add in our terms and condition privacy policy links and our disclaimer links. So I'm just going to come back here. I want to drag and drop our text editor directly below this copyright, our website name, all rights reserved. And in here, I'm just going to copy this. And then want to come back here and insert our text into this column. So I'll be leaving the links to everything mentioned within this video in the description box down below. So you can just copy that and simply replicate everything as is on this pre-sell page. Now in here, we would obviously want to add in links to our terms and condition page, our privacy policy page, and our disclaimer page, which we must have created on our website backend. So for us to be able to add in our links, we simply need to come down to this icon in here which says insert slash edit links so i'm just going to select that and in here for the sake of this video we're just going to put in a hashtag so we're going to click on apply and we can see that has been applied so the same applies to this so we can simply highlight this come down to insert and edit link and in here we can put in our hashtag and then click on apply so the same applies here so i'm just going to highlight this come down to insert edit link and then put in our hashtag and then click on apply. So moving on to styling this, I'm just going to come down to style and for alignment, we want to select center and for our text color, we want to change this to hashtag 1D7ACA. So for our typography, we want to select this pencil icon and in here, we want to change our font family to comic new. And for our font size, we want to make this 14 pixels. And for our font weight, we want to make this 600. So moving on to adding our disclaimer text in here. So I'm just going to copy all this. Like I said, I'll be leaving the links to everything mentioned within this video in the description box down below. So coming down to our pre-sale page, I'm just going to come down to our widget. And I'm going to drag our text editor directly below these links in here. So I'm just going to put in our text in here by highlighting all this and then paste as a plain text. Now coming down to styling this text in here, we want to come down to style and for alignment, we want to change this to center aligned and for our text, we want to change this to white. Now for our typography, select this pencil icon and in here, we want to change this to comic new and for our width, we want to change this to 600. Okay, so that's pretty much it for our desktop responsiveness. So I'm just going to click on update. Now moving on to our tablet responsiveness, I'm just going to come down to responsive mode. I want to select this and in here for our tablet, we want to select that. Now we can see how this appears as and it's not looking all that great. Now what we want to do is to make customization to the left and the right column as well as our middle column. So we simply need to click on our left column. 
And for our column width, we want to change this to 10%. And for the middle column, we want to select our column, come down to layout. And for our column width, we want to make this 80%. Now in here, we want to make this 10%. Now the same applies with the other sections in here. So we want to click on this, we want to make this 10%, select our middle column, come down to layout, and want to make this 80%. And the same applies here, we want to select this and come down to make this 10%. So I'm just going to do this real quick. Okay, so we can see how this appears as, but the little problem we have here is our buttons and we can see it's not looking all that great. So we want to click on one of our buttons in here and we can simply experiment with this until we have this appearing as it should. So I'm just going to click on this button. I want to come down to our patterns. I want to unlink all values here. And let's say, for example, we put in 20 pixels for the top and 95 pixels to the right we can see this isn't going to be looking all that good because this is the same pixel we used for our desktop responsive mode so let's say for example we added 95 pixels to the left as well we can see this isn't looking all that great say for example we added 50 pixels in here we can see how this appears as and let's reduce this to 50 pixels as well and we can see how this appears as so let's say, for example, we made this 55 pixels for the right and also 55 pixels to the left. Now for our bottom, we can simply add in 20 pixels to the bottom and we can see how this appears as. So since we've already got this right, we can simply apply the same to this button. So we want to link all values here and for our top, let's make this 20 and for our right, let's make this 55 to the bottom. We want to make this 20 and to our left, we want to make this 55. So that's pretty much how it's going to be looking like after you're done making customizations to the tablet responsiveness. So if we close this, we can see how this appears as, and we can see this is looking pretty nice. All right. So I'm just going to open this up and I'm going to click on update. And finally, we want to make adjustment to the responsiveness on mobile. So we simply need to click on responsive mode and select mobile version. And this is pretty much how it's going to be looking like. So we can simply make adjustments to this. And if we close this up, we can see how this is going to be appearing as. Now for this column, we can simply click on this, come down to advanced. And for our padding, we want to make this 20 pixels all around. So I'm just going to unlink all values here and for our bottom, we want to make this five pixels and this is pretty much how it's going to be looking like. Now the same applies to this column in here. So I'm just going to click on this and want to come down to advanced and want to make this 20 pixels all around. And then for our bottom, we want to reduce this to five pixels. Now in here for our buttons, we can simply make adjustments to this to have our buttons laying side by side. To do that, we can simply click on this column and for our column width, let's change this to 50%. And also for the second column, let's select this and make this 50% as well. Now this is how it's going to be looking like. It's not looking all that great, but then we want to make customizations to our text. So let's click on this button and for our typography, we want to reduce this to say 12 pixels. I want to change our padding to 15 pixels all around and that looks pretty nice. Since we've already got this right, we can simply apply the same logic to this. So I'm just going to click on this button in here, come down to our typography and reduce the pixels to 12 pixels. And also for our padding, we can simply put in 15 pixels all around. And that's pretty much how it's going to be looking like. And that's pretty much it for this video. If you got value, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and I would see you in the next one.